Hello, my name is André Groß and in this video I'd like to show you how to flash an example onto the Netix 90 and start your application. As you might know, on the Netix 90 uh, we have two sides, an application side and a communication side. At first we have or we will flash the communication side images. On the communication side there's first the hardware configuration. We have to generate the hardware configuration by right-clicking uh, on the XML file and build hardware configuration. Then we will generate the hardware configuration itself and uh, also a so-called maintenance hardware configuration, MWC. The maintenance hardware configuration is also flashed on the device and it is stored right in front of the maintenance firmware. Between the hardware configuration and the maintenance hardware configuration, there's at first the flash device label. We do not want to flash the device label in this tutorial and you might store the flash device label if you have just received your new NXHX development board because there's already a flash device label flashed with all its information about your specific development board onto the device and you will uh, save it, read it out in front. After the flash device label there's the communication side firmware image. It's called an LFW, a low level firmware, and it has the ending NXI. On the application side we have the NAI file. It's the application side firmware image. Here is an application side firmware image located in the build directory debug target folder. For flashing these images onto the device, we open the flasher by clicking on the flasher icon up here in the toolbar. And the flasher dialog now searches for all connected. Uh, flashable devices and it shows us a ROM loader JTAG NetX 90 COM. Double click on it and the now appearing interface shows us the selected device with the chip type, it should be a NetX 90, and with the tars tasks to perform. If you want to store the flash device label, you will have to read it out and select a specific memory area, but we want now to flash the other images onto the device. So um, we select the hardware configuration. After selecting the hardware configuration, we see that the flash parameters, the area and also the flash type are filled out. With hitting the right button, the image is now flashed onto the device. The now appearing dialog asks us if we want to flash other things or we want to end the dialog. Because we want to flash other uh, images onto the device, we hit yes. And we now will select the loadable firmware. Here also the area and the flash type is filled out automatically. We hit right. And flash the image onto the device. The flash device label is located just between the hardware configuration and the communication image. After flashing the hardware configuration and the communication side, we will flash the application side. It's located in build debug targets app iflash.nai and this image is generated by hitting the build button here in the upper left corner. So if we now have flashed um, all those images, we hit the reset button on the device, we are able to start the application. 
Usually if we start the application in the first time, we see a dialog that let us choose the target board and the debugger. For the NXHX90, we have to choose the target board and the debugger, the onboard debugger in this case. And because we already have flashed the uh, image onto the device, we use the attach mode and go to go into debug. So now the Netix Studio attaches onto the device and will stop it immediately after attaching to it. We see that we are here in a while loop and some timer. That's a waiting loop for the application that's running on the device. So we now have flashed the communication side image, the hardware configuration and the firmware. The FDL is already on our development uh, board flashed by Hilter and we have flashed the application side and attached to the development board with Genetic Studio and are now waiting in a waiting loop in a breakpoint in a waiting loop on the device.